All right, welcome everyone to the first annual Nanomedicine Symposium. Very exciting. Woo! All right, this one is entitled Materials, Manufacturing, and Therapeutic Applications. Um, so thank you very much for everyone for attending. Uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, such engagement here. We're very excited about that. Um, you know, very excited also about the rapid growth of this field. So it's, it's very, very cool, uh, really neat time uh, for us and I think for the field in general. So we will be starting this poll, this, um, uh, my talk with a poll. And the question I want folks to put in is what are the main reasons that brings you here today? So please pull out your, um, your, your phones and answer these questions. You can either pick network with researchers, learn what scientists have recently developed with the nanoassembler technology, curious about new formulation techniques for nanomedicine, medicines, learn more about cell transfection methods, uh, learn more about uh, tech, or none of the above. We'll let that percolate. Uh-oh, someone's winning. Cool. Has everyone got it in? And if you are not participating, you can't get the app, try to get the app because we'll have lots of these questions throughout the day and it's a lot of fun. All right. Cool. Great. Well, it's good. This is really good. Good to see that, uh, you know, the big winner here is for us to, to continue to, to, to build our community and to, to meet each other. It is a small community of, I think, a lot of folks know each other. It's a fantastic uh, area to work in. So I'm going to continue on here. Has everyone got the app going? Good? We're good? Awesome. All right. So first and foremost, it's, it's an absolutely fantastic time in medicine. New therapeutic modalities in the area of small molecule drugs, proteins, and even new nucleic acids are really enabling us to modulate biology and treat disease at the molecular level, uh, allowing us to really treat and affect disease in ways that we, we never have been able to in the past. And for example, shown here is just some of the, uh, what we call the genetic toolbox. This is a suite of molecules that allows us to uh, turn genes off, turn genes on, and even to edit genes very sequence specifically to, to really get at the heart of disease, at the genetics and molecular basis of disease. And, and the power of these technologies and a lot of the other uh, therapeutic small molecule and protein uh, technologies is really unprecedented and, and the power cannot be understated. However, the key challenge for this technology and for many other small molecule and protein based therapeutics is that they need to be delivered directly to the tissues to have their effect and into cells to have their effect. And this is not going to happen by putting a little piece of DNA in a big drug capsule like shown here. This is going to happen with this technology, with nanomedicines and why we're all here today. So nanomedicines are a tremendously powerful technology uh, that its job is to package and deliver drugs and take them directly to the tissues and into the cells to have their effect. It's a very sophisticated technology where tens to hundreds of thousands of molecules need to come together to create the final drug product to have its effect and, and to do its job. And, and how that drug product comes together, how these um, nanomedicines really self-assemble to create the structure is, is very important in the final product itself and how well that works and how efficacious it is. At Precision Nanosystems, we're tremendously passionate about the field of nanomedicines. And our mission really is to accelerate the field as a whole, to provide tools and technologies to allow biopharmaceutical companies academic researchers and the like, to really push forward this technology. We think it's tremendously important uh, to improve the human condition and push these technologies forward, push the envelope of what we can make in nanomedicines and to bring these important drug modalities to patients to treat disease. Uh, our contribution to the field has been the development of the continuous flow microfluidic uh, manufacture of nanomedicines. So using the physics of small scales, we're able to exquisitely control the physics and chemistry of how those self-assembly processes happen. I think we'll hear about, uh, about the technology in various talks today, so I won't spend too much time on it, but um, we're very fortunate that has been a very successful technology, and many folks here and in the field are using it to develop their nanomedicines, and, and primarily through our 
what has been our flagship product, the Nano Assembler Benchtop Instrument, which is, has been a great product for us. Um, here, as Ewan indicated, we're very excited to really be unveiling our next suite of instruments. And we're ex tremendously excited to be now deploying what we call the Nano Assembler family of products. And, and this is, these have been designed really to move with our users to go from the earliest stages of development from drug screening through preclinical testing and then to bring those uh, drugs into the clinic for clinical trials and then further to put, put on the marketplace. So at the smallest scale, we have our new Nano Assembler Spark. This is a really cool instrument that allows us to make uh, nanomedicines very high quality, very good nanomedicines at volumes as low as 25 microliters and up to 250 microliters. This is very important when we consider things like screening um, either the drug itself or the nanoparticle components and doing that efficiently, but also is tremendously simple to use and you'll see it um, soon. Uh, one button, one click of a button, able to make very high grade nanoparticles in, in under 10 seconds. The next instrument uh, is the Nano Assembler Benchtop, which many, many of you are familiar with. This system really excels at uh, developing rapid candidate development, prototyping early drug candidates. It operates in the 1 milliliter to 15 milliliter formulation range, which is an ideal range for doing um, development and doing uh, size characterization, various physical characterizations of the particle, plus moving into small animal studies. And it has all the functionality, all the process control parameters we may need to really modulate the characteristics of our nanomedicines uh, to develop new and novel and exciting, exciting nanomedicines. The next instrument is our new Nano Assembler Blaze. And this system really is positioned to allow folks to carry uh, their drug products towards the clinic allows for manufacturer, uses continuous flow manufacturing pumping systems to allow us to go from 10 milliliter formulations to one liter formulations in a continuous flow format. Very useful for things like larger toxicology studies as well as for um, early CMC investigation and the like. And finally, we're tremendously excited, something that uh, many of you may know we've been working on for the past couple years is our GMP system, and we'll talk about it today. And this is a system that allows us to take your preclinical developed uh, nanomedicine candidates, push them towards the clinical, for clinical testing, and eventually uh, to, to treat patients on the marketplace. So very exciting for us. Um, and one point with this is the, the technology uses all the same microfluidics, so the translation as we go from instrument to instrument really is seamless.